Good evening, everybody. Back again, a new video. Started to post up. It's a video on importing files and data that's contained in those files. So it's quite a common exercise and it's quite a useful one to do. Python handles it very well, actually. And a lot of different uh, modules that, that allow you to do it. Um, I found it very, very useful and very, very quickly, easily be able to get file, different file formats and extract the data out of them and bring them into a data frame. Very handy then, once you have them in the data frame, obviously you can go off and slice and dice them. So, before we go any further, just uh, the website's still there, obviously. Lo lots of new things on it. We've, re we've designed the front page. Um, we've got categories. If you want to kind of get further information or if you want to search for anything, search functionality here you can type in what you want if we do this, something like this say tuples gives you one of our uh, postings with tuples okay so lots to see and do there have a look around and um you know, if you like anything uh to certainly uh, to let, let us know if you want more of that uh, some useful links as well and there's a contact us page to kind of for you to drop us a line if you if you want to give some feedback or interest in talking about topics you'd like to be put up on the website. So as discussed today's topic is important files. So I have three files, I've created very random files here. One's a CSV, one's a TXT and one's a, an XLX file. So they all contain the same data. Just show you this quickly. So customer number and with all numeric data and then a planet with just different planets and their names and then obviously we have a text file same again and then uh, xlx i'll just do for completeness do that as well okay so what you want to do so let's go back to the code here so first thing you, thing you need to do is obviously um you need to read in the file first so there's different uh, statements to put in when you want to read in files, depending on the type of file. So for CSV and for text files, use the same one, CSV. And there's a couple of different differences to that, which we'll get into in a second, but basically use CSV. For Excel, you just use Excel. And obviously the extension, uh, the extension difference here as well. So this instance, we've basically, um, created a data frame and just told it to read in this particular file here, which is in this folder here on my computer. Um, the second one here line is actually what it's doing is it's the same, exactly the same as the first one. The difference between this first line and the second line is that we've asked it to say header equals none. And what that basically means is when it reads in the file, it ignores the first line with the headers in it. Now that's useful because if you have files with headers on them, which you want to rename, um, or you want to kind of put a different heading on them or do something else with them, you can. Um, so you can you can kind of either leave them in through this one, or you can ignore them and then create your own or do what you want to do. Okay, so that's um, just where obviously just, just displaying them here. And displaying here. So I'll have to show you the output now in a second to start to see a bit of it coming up in a while. So it's the same concept with XLS as well, um, except this time around it's read Excel. And we're going to print it out again and we're going to display it here. Okay, so this is DF2. DF2. Uh, again, you could put in header equal to none over here. I come in here and put that in there, like I've done up above here in this line. If you wanted, I've just left it out. I've already shown that example, but it can be done there. Next one we're going to do is a text file. Now, text file are um, basically like C very, very like CSV files essentially. Obviously, CSVs it, it's kind of similar to an Excel file, but essentially they are one and the same, very similar. There are a slight subtle differences which I'm going to show you, and a lot of it's to do with so um, with CSV and or with text files. When it reads it in, it kind of reads like one line, and it doesn't recognize the fact that it's staggered into two columns. So what you got to do is put in this bit of code here to say, look, there's a tab 
in between the different lines on each row between the different sets of words and basically apply that tab which will split it out and then it will recognize it as two separate columns and two separate sets of data and on this scenario again we've just said just ignore the header um, okay then um, so that's that line there so we're just going to explain this sorry this line here so that was that line there so excuse me this line here then basically we're going to leave out the delimiter and we're going to leave out the header and the reason to show you that is to show you actually what it looks like and you'll see the difference in a minute when we leave these two bits out certainly you don't have to you could you don't have to leave that that's not op that's optional but this one to get meaningful data when you read it in um you definitely need to leave, leave it in so that's that and the final bit of work here we're doing is basically we're sorting so you might have a scenario where you're bringing your data and say you have customer numbers or you have a particular field you need to sort it in a particular way what you can do is um, and i've just done an example on the text file is you read in the data um but then just stay on this line here tell it to sort on particular column and either sending or equal to true so if it's equal to true obviously that it does it ascending you just change that to false and it will basically do the opposite way around and then we're obviously going to print it out again so just to show you let's just take take you through the code here so this is basically displaying the cv with the header so this is obviously this one up here these lines here so we're kind of looking at these lines the first two so that's that's with a header okay now if we leave it without without the header so it's this exactly the same as this but no header it actually does it is apply column zero or column one so this is like a this is like a an index so you got index zero zero and then it's zero one then you got one zero one one and so on so forth so if you're using indexes that's actually how you'd be able to do it but index is going to be for another day and another posting then we're obviously you're going to read in the excel file here again so it will look exactly like the one up here okay um and then we're going to bring in the text file basically with the delimiter so that's going to be so that's this line here okay but we're telling it don't bring in the header okay so that's this this set of code so as you see again it's it's meaning from data but there's no headers but that's you know there's ways and means of fixing that so that's not a problem so then this scenario i was describing when you're actually bringing in a file and you basically don't have a tab delimiter and you basically tell it to leave the actual headers in so as you can see here this is all basically one line so if you were going to use this to process this on somewhere else or pass it into other variables you wouldn't well you could but the data wouldn't be right in the right way in the right format you're looking at so you need to make sure that it's basically in the right format and the tab del the tab delimiter this bit here code is basically in the code so that then you can get it looking like this okay um, so the final bit is sorting so down here we've discussed um, sorting so again um, I've included the delimiter obviously just had that discussion to make sure that we did the right headers now if we don't include this um, what will happen is it won't basically because it doesn't bring in the header when you go and try and sort it says hey there's no headings on these columns what am i supposed to do so essentially throw an error so that's basically what this line is here okay so basically this again like all the above statements just reads in the file as normal and then what it does it sorts so it says take this column planet here now i know that these are this is not the wrong format so we'll just look at here take this on planet and then sort of descending so what i would expect it to do is go basically start with earth and sort of descending all the way up so as you can see this is the line here so sort values planet and say ascending equal to true so what we should see then is is ascending so earth jupiter now pluto saturn and venus so that's a quick introduction to importing files adding or leaving out headers sorting i hope you've got some benefit out of this i really appreciate people to come back with any feedback on the post to say uh, like it or don't like it or what you'd like to see included or excluded uh, if you give us a like on social media certainly 
these these files are all uploaded here as well to our YouTube channel so if you could do if you want to see us going forward on your use YouTube a lot if you subscribe here uh, you'll be able to see all the videos. There's all lots of different videos there, for different varieties, so you can get something out of it. I will be updating this YouTube channel a bit more as well, a bit more functionality and look and feel, so it'll look a bit better than it is now. But um, certainly, by all means, do that. We really appreciate it. Okay, so thanks everybody for watching this. If you've come and watched it from the start to the end, it's really appreciated, and we'll see you soon. Bye.